What is going on, guys? This is The Club of the Man, 1993, and this is episode number 224 of WWE Turtle Alert. And, of course, it is the first uh, Turtle Alert I have done with my bland, not bland, brand new Blue Yeti microphone. The allergies are getting to me. But we had a face turn that seemingly I thought that I want to say happened back on March 28th. 222, the go home episode of Raw uh, for before WrestleMania. Hey, crystal clear, of course, as well. Uh, this past Monday on Raw from April um, 4th, 2022. And I got some mixed feelings about it. Bobby Lashley, who was out with, with a shoulder injury after dropping the WWE title elimination chamber, came back, of course, quicker than I thought. I thought he was going to be at least out until. For like four months, maybe, I had heard. But he came back in a month and a half. So, I guess impressive. But he returned on the Raw Before Mania to come face-to-face -face with Omos. He would go on to have a match with Omos at WrestleMania, and he won. Didn't really do much other than the fact that it transitioned Bobby Lashley into a babyface. Now, Bobby Lashley has been a heel since October of 2018, uh, just a few months after he made his WWE return, which he was a very bland baby face, um, was doing some really funky crap. Uh, well, not his fault, of course, just like how he was booked. And he it was not working out for him at all. Like, at first, it looked like he was going to regret coming back to WWE. Uh, but, you know, it took a little bit. Took him going through, you know. You know, I like that they, they did give him Leo Rush his hype, man. But uh, Leo Rush, you know, Outside of wrestling was like, you know, like getting a bigger ego, wanted more than he was getting. Um, we have that. Um, then, of course, his stuff with Lana, which was god-awful. But finally, in 2020, when he started work, he started teaming up with MVP. He finally got on track. He finally became, you know, dominating. He had a solid six-month run as WWE Champion. Um, and he, I think, you know, he did feed found his 40 eventually. So he's over. People love him. Then, of course, you know, came the Raw after Mania. Where, of course, you know, um, they had MVP turn on Bobby Lashley. And now he's now managing Omos. <sighs> I don't know about that part. Because as awesome as Bobby Lashley is. He really cannot cut a promo. Like, I'm worried now that since, you know, I mean, you know, he seems, you know, a little bit more comfortable, Bobby Lashley. But I'm still worried. Because when Bobby Lashley was a babyface when he first came back to WWE, no matter what the promo was about, he would come out smiling, high-fiving people, and again, he, he's not that good on the microphone. I love Bobby Lashley, but I'm sorry. He's definitely not solid on the microphone at all. So, yes, Omos needed a mouthpiece, even though Omos is never going to be anything more than just another great Kali, which is, even though Kali is a Hall of Famer, uh, not a good good look, good comparison for sure. But Bobby Lashley needed a mouthpiece. <laughs> so does Omos. But that doesn't mean you take away the mouthpiece that was already working with Bobby Lashley. Yes, Bobby Lashley can wrestle, but now he's, you know, has no mouthpiece again. I'm worried. I am concerned that Bobby Lashley's going to go back to what he was before he turned heel. And I'm worried they're going to have him start jobbing out to Omos, which should not be happening. Like, if they wanted to give Omos a mouthpiece, they could give him somebody else. Somebody fresh. Somebody like, you know, I know a lot of people say they could have given him uh, Malcolm Bivens in NXT. Heck, you could have sent Omos back to NXT for crying out loud to have him work on his craft or whatnot. But even though I don't watch NXT to begin with, but um, he could have done that. Why did you have to completely take away MVP for Bobby Lashley? They've completely dismantled a stable that was working. That they split up for no reason twice, don't forget, the Hurt Business. Cedric Alexander and Sheldon Benjamin are, are, are jobbers. They're never going to be tag champs again. 
And now Bobby Lashley's all by himself. And the biggest strength he had, a mouthpiece, is taken away from him. So I don't know. I think, you know, yes, Lashley, you know, is over. People do, you know, are behind him. But again, the fact you took his mouthpiece away worries me. We'll have to wait and see, guys. Um, hopefully he gets through this feud with Omos alive, because I'm worried that it's going to just hurt him. Because they're probably going to have him lose to Omos now in a rematch. And another match, who knows. I'm, I'm just, this one I got, I'm, I'm mixed about. I gotta see it play out. That's my thoughts, guys. What are your thoughts about Bobby Lashley's uh, face turn and him and then breaking up him and MVP and MVP going to now be the hype man for, not hype man, be the manager for Omos? Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. And be sure as always to slap a like on the video and subscribe for more content on my channel. Follow me on Twitter as well at DemandAirboy93. Till then, guys, I am checking out. I'll catch you all later. Have a great rest of your night. And as always, guys, please stay tuned for more. WWE Turn Alert.